Hey guys, it's me, H. Lewis of H. Lewis Presents, bringing you another video recipe. Today is Taco Tuesdays, and we're going to bring you Mahi Mahi tonight. Now, this is a quarantine edition. Now, I'm using a frozen package of Mahi Mahi. Use what you have. It could be chicken. It could be beef. It could be ground beef. It could even be frozen fish sticks, if that's what you have. I'm also going to use a package of flour tortillas, a handful of Brussels sprouts, a bag of shredded carrots, and a pound full of cherry tomatoes diced. That's all you need. That's all I have. So use what you have and make yourself a Taco Tuesday night. Now, what's a Mexican night without margaritas? Be sure to watch the end of this video to learn how to make your own fresh margaritas. I have mahi mahi fillets here, but you can use whatever you have, even fish sticks. I've even used shards of cucumber, whole asparagus, and just mushrooms to make it a vegetarian night. I like to cut my protein or my vegetable to the length of my tortillas. Stick these on a hot grill and you're good to go. I say about three or four minutes per side. Add a little kosher salt and some fresh ground black pepper. As little or as much as you want. I usually use shaved cabbage for my tacos, but I didn't have any. I did have about five Brussels sprouts. I use those leaves and I'll keep it raw just for that crunch. Just cut them in half and slice off the ends. You'll have Brussels sprout shavings in no time. Use whatever greens you have available, either vegetable or herbs. Parsley would be nice, cilantro too. I'm gonna put my Brussels sprouts to the side and grab a big handful of shredded cabbage. Shredded cabbage is a staple in my house. Mmm, I can smell that fish. I think it's time for a flip. Gorgeous. That's exactly what I want to see. These would need about two or three more minutes on the other side. Don't forget a squirt of citrus, like lemon or lime. I love lime juice. I have these fresh cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut them up and put them in a bowl. This would give the right amount of moisture to my tacos. Now, of course, if I had some avocados, I would put a slice in each taco. But alas, I don't. Use what you have. Tomatoes love salt. I'm also gonna add extra virgin olive oil. Just a splash. This tomato compo is perfect to top the tacos. The fish is done, so add that to the assembly line. Now I grill my tortillas right on the stove top. I place them right on the burner for about a minute. Then I flip it over for another minute. That's one down, seven more to go. When I use mahi-mahi or fish for tacos, I serve about four each. If it's beef or chicken, I do three each. Don't forget to check out my video on how to make your own flour tortillas from scratch. Last one. Turn off the burner and get ready to plate. This also makes a great taco party. Just lay everything out and let your guests serve themselves. This meal looks so pretty on a plate. Put your tortillas down first. Then add your fish or protein. Then add your green herbs or vegetable. In my case, Brussels sprouts. Then I go in with my shredded carrot.
Then I add some extra protein to the tacos. You want these full and meaty. Don't be stingy. I top it off with my tomato compote. Some wedges of lime, and we're all set. Look at these tacos. Four for Henry, and four all for me. Boy, I can't wait. You too can make a quarantine taco Tuesday. Again, I use frozen fish and packaged goods. Quarantine edition. Now, making margaritas is very simple. All you have to do is remember the 2 1 1 rule two parts tequila, one part lime juice, one part of Cointreau or triple sec. I don't like triple sec, so we use Cointreau. You don't want to use margarita mix and you don't want to use bottled lime juice. You're going to mix it with other things, so you don't want to use your most expensive tequilas. Here goes. I need one cup of lime juice, so I'm going to cut up six limes. I'll juice these with a simple citrus press, and I'm going to use one orange. This will give me the one cup of juice that I need. Now's a good time to rim your glasses with salt. Do not use table salt. It's too salty. Use kosher salt. I use the orange to rim the glasses. The lime is just too tart. Stick the glasses inside the salt. Give it a turn, and that's it. One down, one to go. I stick these right in the freezer. Give it a chill. I'll just press these right over the measuring cup. Try to get most of the juice inside the cup. Now I know you diehard fans are going to point out that this is a dry measuring cup. So what? Now of course there is a difference for a measuring cup for liquids and a measuring cup for dry ingredients. However, I'm not baking, so it doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> Henry just said, you're just trying to get baked. No. Like I said before, I'm going to use the juice of one orange as well. This gives it a sweet touch. So here we go. I'm going to use this glass carafe. I never use plastic pitchers for my beverages. Don't forget your 2-1-1 ratio. So I'm going to use 2 cups of tequila. Don't use your most expensive tequilas, but use 100% agave tequila. I pour my tequila very slowly. My bartender friends tell me if I'm gentle with it, it'll be gentle with me. Treat it with care. I pour my one cup of lime juice through a strainer. Then one cup of Cointreau, a triple sec. We like Cointreau. I'm also gonna add a quarter cup of light agave. Agave in the alcohol, agave in the sweetness. Perfect. Then I pop a lid on and use the whole glass like a shaker. Since this is for a batch, I do not add ice cubes now. You don't want to dilute the cocktail at this point. Now I get the glasses out of the freezer and fill them to the top with ice cubes. Fill each glass to the top with your lightning, your tequila. Again, try to pour it slowly. You want to pour the tequila where it just covers the ice. The ice is essential. As the ice melts, it will dilute the beverage to its optimal flavor. Here I'm going to garnish with a lime. Just a slice in each glass. It already looks so refreshing. 
Does it not look great? Now for a taste. Mmm. Not too strong, but strong enough. And the salt and the lime juices are playing with each other with that hint of orange and Cointreau. Cheers.